Today we're setting up QEMU and KVM on Linux Mint 22.3 the right way. Stable, clean, and fully supported by the system. This is not a rushed setup. It's the kind that keeps working after updates and doesn't cause random issues later. By the end of this video, you'll have a proper virtualization setup that you can actually rely on, whether you're testing Linux distros or planning to run heavier virtual machines in the future. Let's start simple. QEMU and KVM work together. KVM lives inside the Linux kernel and allows your CPU to run virtual machines using hardware acceleration. QEMU is the tool that creates and runs those virtual machines. When they're combined, you get fast, near-native performance. Linux Mint already supports this stack extremely well. We just need to enable it correctly. Before installing anything, we first confirm that virtualization is available on the system. Most modern CPUs support it, but we always verify instead of assuming. Open a terminal and run the command that checks CPU virtualization flags. If virtualization is present, the system will clearly show it. Once that's confirmed, we move forward. Now we install the required packages. Linux Mint 22.3 is based on Ubuntu 24.04, so everything we need is already in the official repositories. That's important because it means long-term stability. We start by updating the package list to make sure we're pulling the latest compatible versions. Then we install QEMU, KVM, libvirt, and vert manager. Libvirt runs in the background and manages virtual machines. Vert Manager is the graphical interface you'll use to create, start, and control them. Once installation finishes, we set up permissions. Your user account needs access to virtualization features. We add the current user to the libvirt and KVM groups so virtual machines can run without root access. After adding the groups, log out of your session and log back in. This step is important. Permissions do not apply until you do this. Now we verify the service. We check that the libvirt service is running and enabled. When it's active, it means the virtualization backend is ready. Next, we open Vert Manager. When Vert Manager launches, it should automatically connect to QEMU and KVM. If the connection shows as active, everything underneath is working correctly. Now we do a simple test run. We create a new virtual machine using a local ISO file. Any Linux ISO is fine for this test. Vert Manager usually detects the operating system automatically. That's normal. We assign a reasonable amount of memory and CPU cores. No need to push limits here. We keep the default storage settings. QEMU uses virtual disk files that are efficient and easy to manage. Once the setup finishes, we start the virtual machine. If the virtual machine boots and shows the installer screen, your QEMU and KVM setup is complete and functioning exactly as it should. At this point, you have a solid virtualization foundation. QEMU with KVM is fast, reliable, and widely used on both desktops and servers. Linux virtual machines run extremely smoothly, and even heavier workloads perform well when configured properly. Everything you've installed is open source, officially supported, and tightly integrated with Linux Mint. No hacks, no workarounds, no fragile scripts. From here, you can move on to more advanced setups like Windows virtual machines, shared folders, USB pass-through, and performance tuning. But the base system you've built here is the most important part. This is the right way to install QEMU and KVM on Linux Mint 22.3. Thanks for watching. Take your time exploring virtual machines and enjoy the power that Linux gives you out of the box.